Learn all about the future of SQL from our SQL product leader, Sanjay Mishra, this week on Data Exposed. Hi, I'm Anna Hoffman, and welcome to this episode of Data Exposed. Very special episode. Today, we're joined by Sanjay Mishra, the product leader for SQL, the partner director of SQL Product Management. Sanjay, it's so great to finally have you on Data Exposed. Finally, finally. Well, thank you, Anna, for having me here, and I'm very excited to see how this episode goes. Awesome, absolutely. Yeah. We're really excited to have you here, and I think like the first thing I'd love to know from, from like your viewpoint on SQL, like what's top of mind? Yeah. Uh, See, the databases industry going through lots of evolutions and revolutions at this time. Um, the cloud database industry specifically is got a new tailwind uh, to propel it even further. Um, you can see that every database company is investing heavily to ensure that they have an awesome product offering in the cloud. So we are, right? Uh, every hyperscaler is making sure that they have awesome cloud database offerings. Even startups, startups are investing heavily on this. There are a lot of venture capitalist fund going behind um, uh, backing these companies to come up with awesome innovations in this space. So this space is 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 uh, very exciting. A lot of innovations happening will make uh, a lot of contribution to the industry going forward. So I'm very excited. Yeah, awesome. Well, we're excited. You're excited, and I think viewers would love to know, like, as far as what you can tell us about what you're thinking for the future, what evolutions we'll make as a product. Like, can you tell yeah. us a little bit? Yep, uh, so uh, databases has been there for a long time. A lot of innovations have gone inside the databases. Uh, whether you call about the query processors or the kind of data types they support or the kind of a, um, how they optimize it, um, um, all kinds of stuff have gone very, very strong. Uh, what we're seeing now is that every database want to expose itself into a way so the programming on it becomes very, very easy. So databases exist because applications exist. Yes. And their whole purpose of databases is to serve the apps. Okay. Now I have a question for you. Okay. Why need to write app on your whatever tool you have there? Okay. Okay. I need to write app. App. Here. Yeah. Okay. Just so write app. I think viewers can see it. I'm going to write a p. See? But through you writing a app, you wrote, wrote API. Ah, <laughs> see, I did. Yeah, yeah you wrote A P. I, I stopped there, right? <laughs> so to build an app, we need APIs. Right. So what these databases are going to do now is expose themselves in APIs. So what we have been investing in something called a data API builder, that every database can be easily with two or three clicks, you can expose it as a set of APIs. Amazing. So your database becomes an API. Now any application anywhere can use them, can build more applications on that, can modernize them customize them, make them extensible, there is no end to it. So that really, really allows the user, the developer, the power to build any kind of apps using these databases. So that's one. The second thing what is fueling this and this news is everywhere is AI. When you wrote API, you take the middle P out, it becomes AI, isn't it? <laughs> so, right. ev yeah. so every app going forward will be intelligent apps. Artificial intelligence will be making two ways impact. Impact one is how to make users' life better or more productive. Copilers, writing codes, troubleshooting, etc. At the back end is also going to help us how to make these database services smarter. How do we scale these in a smart way? How do you do capacity planning for in the smart way? How do you optimize your uh, request uh, smart way? How do you understand your workload in a smarter way? So AI is going to help the front end as well as the back end to make this uh, the life of users much, much better. And therefore, the, the evolution is just starting. Okay, yeah. I mean, it seems like the future is bright, right? Super uh, bright. Super future bright. Super bright. Um, now, like, through all these changes and as you see SQL going through these evolutions and revolutions and innovations and all that stuff, like, what do you think the impact is going to be for, like, users of these SQL databases? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the proof is in the pudding, right? The no innovation is useful unless it actually impacts the life of the user in a most productive way. Uh, I mentioned to you about the co-pilots and the productivity improve, but it's going to even go further. Think of this, is that uh, the cloud managed services has taken off the burden 
of infrastructure management from the user. They don't have to sure. think about how do I get my hardware, how do I get my uh, various versions of various software that, that, that I install, how much memory I need, and et cetera, is all taken care of by, by, by the services. Now, what is, not, uh, what is going to happen further, is there are still there are some knobs, there are some settings that the users need to think about when they are going to manage these databases, tune these databases for their workloads, and so on. Uh, one good example for this actually indexes. Mm. No user wakes up in the morning, thinks that, okay, I need an index. Right. No user. No user has ever asked, come and ask me that, oh, I need an index for this database. All they ask about, my app should be faster. Right? My database is running this kind of workload. It should be able to support more users. It should be able to support uh, bigger databases. It should be able to uh, more user requests. Now, to be able to do that, People who manage the database behind the scene or manage the schema, they go, oh, okay, we see your workload pattern, we need to create these indexes. Mm -hmm. How can that be made zero touch for the users? So you will see the evolution will happen where the internal database structures or the various ways that the engine works, how do I optimize your queries? All these things will become completely zero touch for the users. You just, just need to think about their data, their APIs, app. Everything below that, will become auto-managed, will become completely seamless for the scale of the system. It will become seamless for the user's day-to-day -day life. And that's when we can see the true value of all the automation that is happening behind the scene, true value of the AI coming and helping in the, the, the back end of the system, like so on. Awesome, yeah, no, that, that definitely seems like a great thing, great direction for us, for probably all a lot of databases in the industry. I think like as we close out, one thing I would ask uh, as a product leader to our viewers, to our users, like any advice or tips or tricks or requests for users that you want us to, to end with? Think about your users. Every system has a user. Always start from the users and work backwards, always. Uh, people who are building architecture diagrams, think from the right, to the left. The right is where your actual end users are there. Whichever way you can make their life better, whether making it more scalable, more performant, more zero touch, more easy to write codes, think of that and expect the world from us. Uh, Azure SQL database is the database for the world. It is a database for all applications. And we have to make sure that we are able to provide all personas who use our database, whether it's a developer, whether it's a DBA, whether it's an architect, whether it's an end user, whether it's an analyst, to be able to use this database for their workload to the best of their abilities, to, to the best of their, uh, I would say, scenarios that they need. The good part of Azure SQL database and all the innovations that we have done is that there are a lot of genius that has gone into it, but you don't have to be a genius to be able to use it. Yeah. Amazing. Right? Yeah. That's, the, that's, that's our goal. We also want to achieve that every byte of data that you put into the database achieve its full potential. So the advice to the users is that demand more from your data. Yeah. Demand more from your data, expect more from, from your data, expect more from your database management system. That's the way that we all going to benefit. I love it. Thank you so much, Sanjay, for coming on Data Exposed. We really appreciate you sharing the future and, and your outlook on innovation with us. Cool. Thank you, Anna. Thank you for having me. All the best. Thank you. And for our viewers, if you like this episode, go ahead and give it a like, leave us a comment, and let us know what you think of the future of databases, especially in the, the world of SQL. We hope to see you next time on Data Exposed. Mm -hmm.